Hello, welcome to a slightly unusual video. I'm not doing the usual landscapes or wildlife painting, but painting flowers and leaves on these shoes. I've never painted on leather before, so it took a bit of research, but I found some very good paints. They were slightly transparent, which caused me some problems because of I had to go over and over to get a decent amount of coverage but I think in the end it worked okay. Time will tell whether it's durable enough. I have got some varnish especially for these paints on leather so I'm going to give it a few days for the, this paint to really harden and give the varnish a go several coats and hopefully it'll be durable enough. So. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you, you could. It really does help. Thank you, and now on to the video. Right, the first task is to clean all the remnants of polish on the shoes. And so what I'm doing here is wiping acetone all over them, which did a really good job of cleaning up. Once done, I started with the, the main leaves. The, the paint I'm using is Angelus acrylic leather paints and they're a little bit transparent so with this sort of leaf blocking in stage I'm having to do it about three times to get the coverage I need. But it, uh, it is going on quite nicely. The leaves inside this sort of tongue area are a bit of a pain because uh, the si sides of the shoes were, were trying to fold back into the w wet paint so I had to prise it open for a bit. I've decided here to only keep the leaves quite low down as I intend putting flowers above. The paint seems to be touch dry within a few minutes if I put it on thin, five if, if thick. So it can take a second coat quite quickly. I just did the uh, second shoe there, didn't bother showing that as it's a bit identical to this. And once again, going over the whole thing to try and get the coverage to the level I want. Yes, about three coats it took. Here I'm airbrushing a slightly darker green in the centres of all the leaves as the reference photographs seem, seem to have this. After that I'm back to the original green and just going round all the edges just to sharpen back up as the airbrush overspray kind of blurred it a bit. Now I'm going round the, uh, the edges yet again, but this time with some yellow added just to uh, emphasise the, the edges and separate each leaf. Now I'm on to the veins of the leaves with uh, an even lighter, more yellow colour. It's just like doing little mini branches of a tree. I kept getting cramp in my left hand holding the shoes because I'm not used to this sort of thing. Now onto the flowers. Uh, same procedure. The yellow paints even more transparent than the the green so they need multiple coats
Here we go, round again. These particular flowers, I, I don't know what they're called. I'm not much of a botanist. Um, they have uh, orange centres, but while um, the uh, yellow is drying, I'm just putting these sort of little daisies, which I thought was uh, added to the design across these straps. So here I'm onto the orange. The orange li lines I'm putting on here helped define the petals better. Same with the leaves, a little bit of airbrushing in the centre with the orange colour just helps sort of unify it all. And with a, a much darker orange, it's basically the same orange but I added brown to it, I painted the centres of those, those flowers. Now that what's left is the stems. At first I did think of just having the flowers floating there but I didn't like that so I've grounded everything and put the stems and leaves in. Same for the leaves at the bottom, I got, took a, a, a dark colour and just indicated some stems. The little daisies have now got little green centres in them, <coughs> well ye yellow to start with but uh, I put a dot of green in, in the yellow which seems to be what the, colour, the uh, flowers look like. And this is the uh, finished article before varnishing. Well this was a very interesting project, something I've never done before and uh, it remains to be seen how durable it's going to be. I have got the special varnish for the leather so hopefully that will give a tough protective coating. So if you uh, like this, I've got plenty of other videos, usually landscapes and wildlife, but this one was really fun. It's, it's good to do something different. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.